Okay, what was I up to? We spoke to Lucas. Got the... Got the evidence. Now we're gonna sneak back. Where is he? Where's that guy gone? Mm. Is he going to go there? It won't open. Where is this guy? I'm scared that if I go out and then he comes out. Exactly when I go out. Horrible. from up there. God, hey, hey, this town's deserted. Where is everybody? Just leave me be, stranger. Where is everybody? It's very quiet. I can't be seen talking to you. There's something up there. I'm looking for Brian Burke. Can't help you. Seems most of the normal people in this town are too frightened to tell me much of anything. Who's pushing me? Hey, buddy. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. You're in the wrong place. Asking the wrong questions, outsider. Well, I got my whiskey. Let's try to find that pretty lady. The doll. What you doing? Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. I can't be seen <laughs> talking to you. <laughs> She's like in an alley or something. Where is she? Is that Lucas? Hey, buddy. Hello, Mackie. Jack, swell to see you again. Any leads on the Burnham case? Nope. nope. Did you know the lad at all? Just pleasantries. Seemed a nice enough fella, if a little rough around the edges. Strange business, though. I'd never have fingered him as a crook. The First National was a well-run store, a rare thing here in Innsmouth. Okay, Mackie. Thanks. Goodbye, Jack. Be careful what you're doing. Very careful. Insmith's a dangerous place. Mm, Not everyone who visits here ends up leaving by the old bus route. This Mackie character knows plenty, but I don't think grilling him for scraps of information is going to crack this case. Bye, buddy. Hope he doesn't die. I like him. It won't open. There you are. Hey. Can you at least tell me if you knew the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Look here, Mr. Walters. I can't answer your questions, and your harassment is putting us both in danger. Please, leave me alone. In danger? From whom? The Order. Now go! Huh? Well, she's not gonna say anything, so... Try to get down there first. No, that's not the place. Let me. How do I get down there?
go down there? Young mister, I can give you something for your generosity. Who are you? Zadok, that be my name. Though it's a few years it now. Zadok Helen. Do you know a Brian Burnham? Just a youngin. Worked over the store. He's <laughs> gone. Killed, I reckon. Killed? What makes you think that? Them's from out of town running a store. Taking business from the order of Dagon. Dagon. They not accept that. What else can you tell me about this port? You just bring old Zadok a bottle I got of something whiskey. nice, and old Zadok will fill your ears. Excuse. Why, you're uncommonly kind, young feller. There'll be a little something in gratitude that may help you in your search. Hmm? What is that? Gee? Yeah. <sighs> now you be calling me crazy. Like them that's the rumor in an anchor on the lip switch. But old Zadok's seen all manner of wicked things since before you was born. <clears throat> old Captain Mobit where it all began. Telling desperate folks they'd order get better gods. Them's that to answer the prayers. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Aye, uh, they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Obed and his ways. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Uh, a party of good folk followed Captain Obed's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and 30 of his fathers were in jail. And for weeks all were quiet. Till that artful night of 46, them's out outside reckon out it being a riot. But I'd seen them. Swarms of them. Swarms? Look, old man. I don't have time to listen to these fishing No, tales. we do, we do. Oh, was a massacre. The jail thrown open. Mounds of the dead and the dying. <gasps> Shooting and screaming and shouting all across the town square. Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy as strangers if we were known what was good for us. Sadok, who did all this? Who did all? Said the old captain was now. Deeper in debt to his even gods. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Obed told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. What the hell are these oaths? No. You just asked old Wes about oaths of Dagon. Aye, he take the third oath. Just head over to his hole in the dark street. Then you'll see. For definite. 
He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. Thank you. I hope he stays alive. Where did Captain Ovid Marsh learn of these heathen matters? In war and foreign parts, the old fool I lent to ways of making gains, doing heathen things. He found a tribe of Canuckies in the South Seas led by a savage. Chief went by a name of Wallachia. And his tribe never went without food, for they had all the fish they could catch. Old Obed learned from his Wallachia that these things on this earth as most folks never heard about. Seems these Canuckies was worshipped in undersea gods, with heaps of human sacrifices and other heathen things. But they was getting all kinds of favors in return. Plenty of fishing and even gold now and then. Human sacrifices? Maybe you've had just a bit too much. What are you much. talking about? That's all we saw. Oh. I don't blame you oh, for buddy. not believing it, young fella. But just answer me this. Why did the Captain Obed roll out to the reef of Satan and chant a lot of rites and incantations in the dead of night? So loud you could hear them all over the port. He cast something in the water that eve, out the other side of Devil's Reef. Some kind of thing jig crafted <laughs> out of lead. It was given to him by Wallachia. So what happened? Well, not long after that smoke started coming out of the chimneys at the old gold refinery, the Marsh family and those that had joined with Obed in his ways started prospering in the esoteric. Esoteric order of Dagon <laughs> came into being with his Ethan Sermon. Sermon. Ser uh, the sh that shit they do. What kinds of ceremonies? Mm. Yeah. Get out of here, lad. Don't wait for nothing. They'll know now. Hello. Um. I think he's had his fill mm. for the night. Daddy. Zadok, Zadok. Curse you, lad, for staring at me with them eyes. The old captain in hell, and he's staying there. He can get me. Uh, he can't. No, no, he can't get me. No, well, I think he's I gone. I have nothing done. I ain't done nothing or told <laughs> nobody nothing. Oh, can I get my bottle back at least? It won't budge. I hope he's all right. It won't open. Bye, buddy. Oh! You me. Mr. Walters, I must speak with you. Huh? It's Jack. And just hold on there a minute, sweetheart. Are you gonna even tell me your name? Move. My name's Rebecca Lawrence, and unless you want to join Innsmouth's long list of missing, I'd urge you to follow me. Okay. Missing, huh? Like... Burnham? Of that, I'm not sure. You'd be better off asking the Billingham's daughter, Ruth. She was dating Brian. What? No. Who's Ruth? It wasn't her. Quickly, we don't have much time. You've got to follow me. Okay. We'll do. What's going on? Jack, Innsmouth is a strange place. There are things that have no business being here. Foul, reeking things. Strange. Trust me, I'm good with strange. That remains to be seen, but I can help you. My father discovered this strange sign while studying an old manuscript. It seems to ward off the more unusual elements in Innsmouth. Whenever you find one, you can use it to find a moment of sanctuary. Now, I must leave before we're seen together. I've see seen them. that eye-like symbol somewhere before, but never surrounded by a star. 